Let's take an in-depth look at the analysis canvas in Pluto. So for this experiment, I'm looking at a bulk RNA-seq experiment, which had a couple samples that are described in this table below. You can see there were two different doses of ethanol treatment used in this study, as well as two samples with no ethanol. These human liver chip models came from two different donors, indicated by donor A and B here. So there's plenty to analyze. On the Canvas tab, up here is where we can begin performing our analysis on an infinite canvas. This canvas allows me to add different entities to it and tell my scientific story. So I can begin by creating a new analysis and selecting from our no-code analysis catalog here. So I might want to start with a principal components analysis. I can create, set up that analysis with the parameters on the left, customize my plot in terms of appearance or colors or ordering the legend. and see those changes reflected in the graph. Now that graph is on my canvas, I can continue building a multi-panel figure. I can choose an additional analysis, create a new analysis, or embed an analysis from another study even. I'll add a few more so that we have some comparisons. shown here on my canvas, a common thing that I might want to do is overlap the genes between these two differential expression comparisons. To do that, I can use our overlap analysis to overlap genes in these different DEG comparisons. I'll select my 0.8% comparison, call this 0.8%, select some relevant thresholds, and do the same thing for our 0.16. I can customize this Venn diagram, show the names of the groups that I'm looking at, and change those colors. And now we have a nice looking Venn diagram where these two comparisons, and I can visually indicate where those had come from as well. Great, so this is how you would use Pluto's canvas to perform some analysis. These canvases are really powerful, can be used to display tables, results, methods, your own notes, and much more.